All right, Atul Vasan in the studio. Atul, we'll talk about Yuvraj, but let's talk about Virat Kohli. Today we got an idea of how much Bangalore are missing their skipper. Well, not really. I think mm -hmm. it was a very clinical show by the champions. I think uh, they were um, on the mark, on the money in both batting but and bowling. But playing, couldn't things have been different? Yeah, but I think it's it's uh, unfair in, in a team sport to put mm -hmm. too much emphasis on mm -hmm. one man. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can imagine that he has brought this upon himself. Yeah. That once you do too well, then everybody expects you. It's humanly impossible to actually carry on and perform every game. But, uh, you know, this is the legacy he has to carry. This is the cross he has to carry right. all his life. Anybody who is outstanding has to carry this cross. Right. And th that's his burden for him. Right. But not today. I think even, I think they did well. They, they got off to a good start. Yeah. Chris Gale uh, was good. Yeah. All the top five batsmen got to 20 plus scores. But they could not capitalize. They did not have a partnership going. Yeah. And I think Shane Watson at that number was a waste. Okay, uh, you know, 30 odd runs is the losing margin and Which still, is a lot. Yeah, no, which but, is like but the, but almost 100, remaining. 100 feet. No, but there, was, there were many bo balls remaining. You know, it all boiled down to about uh, 40 odd runs in 18 balls, which we've seen in, in IPL happen. Uh, would you say that the turning point could have been Kedar Jadav? He looked in tremendous form, 31 odd in 16 balls. His run out, maybe things could have been different? Not really. I think, I think um, uh, Sunrisers had the best two bowlers at the end. They shut the match out. Ashish right. Nehra and Bhuvneshwar right. were brilliant, you know. Right. At that point, you could say that, you know, you could go for big hits and anybody can get hit. This was a sluggish pitch, right. but, you know, in the end, you know, you can go for big hits. But these two guys are pros now. You know, Ashish Nehra went for 27 runs in the first two overs, came back like this, you know. The swinging Yorker, which he got, Arvind, you know, master. I mean, at that pace, at that age, okay. and at that stage, if you can bowl that, then you know that this guy knows what he's doing. Okay, let's now talk about the star of the match. That was Yuvraj Singh. Of course, got dropped once. But do you think that that form that he showed playing for India, that confidence he's mm -hmm. carried on here? Because apart from the knock, the swagger with which he walked and the way he was batting looked completely different. You know, that's why I wondered. I, I asked him some time ago, you know, he's achieved everything under the sun. He's been through a lot, you know. And then the, this fire, this hunger. I mean, I asked him, who writes your script? You know, that, you know, I mean, this, at this stage, you've made enough money, you, you were the big star, you could just lay back and lie on a beach and, you know, be cozy all your life, you just got married. But no, you know, this hunger just to be there, it's, a, it's an aphrodisiac, it's a, it's a drug, you just to get this feeling of getting runs and making the team win. And I think you can see, and if he's willing to put those hard yards at this age, at this stage, I mean, it boils good for Indian. That's what Virat said, you know. Right. It uh, all uh, is good for Indian cricket. Okay. Uh, the other man who struck some form, and we spoke about him before the match because he was dropped from the Indian side, Shikhar Dhawan. You know, this this is a, a rejuvenated Shikhar Dhawan who's, who's not just wanting to do well in the IPL, but aim is, I think, uh, to come back to the Indian squad. Yeah, surely, because, you know, now people are lipping, nipping at his heels, you know. Yeah. Once you lose the spot and you're used to this limelight, this adulation, it's very hard for you to digest, you know. Uh, full marks to Gautam Gambhir also to make a comeback, you know. So all these boys are not giving up. And I think IPL is such a catalyst because uh, in earlier days, people would not try so hard because they knew that what was there for them to perform. Just go back to the domestic cricket, grind, Ranji Trophy. Not easy for a big star to do that, you know, suddenly from the first class to railway, you know. So, <laughs> but these guys, because of IPL, they have kept their careers stringing along, you know. So IPL in a lot of ways have contributed to the big stars hanging around and probably making the Indian team better. Okay, apart from the big stars that we've spoken of, uh, cricket connoisseurs were looking at those two young Afghan players who've, who've come in. Rashid Khan got a chance today. What did you make of him? Pretty impressive? Yeah, I think first game, IPL, big stage, you know, just to bowl for a leggy to put the ball on the spot, you know. So, full marks for the teams for picking them, you know, because then you open a new market for IPL also. IPL is just not cricket. You know, if you look at IPL only through the eyes, myopic eyes of a cricket lover or a cricket analyst, you'll uh, find it wanting. So you got to look at the bigger picture. You know, you get these two Afghanistan players. Afghanistan is a big market and these guys are good at the short game. They might not be good test players. So I think they have done the best master stroke. If you don't have Pakistani talent in IPL, you can make up with Afghanistani talent. Okay. Now, uh, because you were talking about the bigger picture, let's look at the bigger picture of the IPL. RCB, and I'm not talking about fans, even the bookmakers have made them the favourites and, and they don't look at emotions or just one player or two player. Look at the you know full combination of a side. And SRH was down below at 4-5 spot. Do you think that was fair? Looking off, I mean, no, it's just one game, but you get an idea of how the teams are performing. That should change? Not really. I think uh, it's too early days. You know, but you uh, 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 Sunrisers at the 4th, 5th spot, do you think? Not really. I think they are a, a very good balanced team and they are not not missing much is just Mr. Uh, uh, Rehman, Mustafizur, yeah. you know. I think that's the only thing and I think he gets fit enough. 
I think they are they are a complete side. You know, and David Warner, Warner comes back to form. Dover, David Warner, Shikhar Dhawan, you know, and they've got and the two bowlers I mentioned in the pre-show. Yes. Ashish Nehra, Bhuvneshwar Kumar. I mean, you can't get better than this, and they showed it today in the death. Uh, all in all, it was the first game of IPL season 10. We're celebrating a decade of IPL. But 200 plus score in the first yeah, game. Yeah, that's what I so want to know. So that's it. You know, ah. it's going to be par. You're going to ah. see 200 scores more often now. Mm -hmm. You know, it was uh, once in a while. Mm -hmm. Then it may, uh, now it's become a par score. So you've got to be ready to chase down 200 every game.